sell us. You see it to transform the lives of many and providing cement in Abidjan, Cote d'Ivoire. One huge plant under construction. Vent cut. It's beautiful and nice. This is what we want for Africa. Awake. Find relief from stress. Are you stressed? Everyone has stress to some degree, yet I am overwhelmed with stress. It is not from just one big problem, but from many situations, from struggles, and from seemingly unending years of caring for my physically and mentally ill husband. Jill. The footnote reads, Names have been changed. End of footnote. My wife left me, and I had to raise two children on my own. It was hard being a single parent. On top of that, I lost my job, and I couldn't afford to get my vehicle inspected for registration. I had no idea how to handle things. The stress was overwhelming. I knew deep down that it was wrong to kill myself, so I begged God to end my misery. Barry Like Jill and Barry, do you sometimes feel overwhelmed with stress? If so, may the following articles comfort and help you. They examine common causes of stress, how stress can affect us, and how we can get at least a measure of stress relief. End of article. What causes stress? Most adults report being under increasing levels of stress, says the well-known Mayo Clinic. Modern life is filled with change and uncertainty. Consider just some of the changes and uncertainties that contribute to stress. Divorce. The death of a loved one. Severe illness. Serious accidents. Crime. A hectic pace of life. Disasters. Natural or man-made. Pressures at school or work. Worries about employment and financial security. The loss of a job, says the American Psychological Association, can be devastating, putting unemployed workers at risk for physical illness, marital strain, anxiety, depression, and even suicide. Loss of a job affects every part of life. Stress in Early Childhood it is not uncommon for children to suffer from stress. Some are bullied at school or neglected at home. Others are abused physically, emotionally, or sexually. Many are anxious about exams and school grades. Still others see their family torn apart by divorce. Stressed children may have nightmares, learning difficulties, depression, or a tendency to be withdrawn. Some seem unable to control their emotions. A child suffering from stress needs urgent help. End of article. What is stress? Stress is your body's response to a demanding situation. Your brain causes hormones to flood your system. These increase your heart rate, regulate your blood pressure, expand or constrict the capacity of your lungs, and tense your muscles. Before you are fully aware of what is happening, your body is primed for action. When a stressful episode is over, your body comes off high alert and returns to normal. Add stress. Stress is a natural response that enables you to deal with challenging or dangerous situations. The stress response begins in your brain. Beneficial stress enables you to act or react quickly. A certain amount of stress can also help you to reach your goals or to perform better, perhaps during an exam, a job interview, or a sporting event. However, prolonged, extreme, or chronic stress can harm you. 
When your body is repeatedly or constantly on high alert, you may begin to suffer physically, emotionally, and mentally. Your behavior, including the way you treat others, may change. Chronic stress can also lead to substance abuse and other unhealthy means of coping. It may even spiral into depression, burnout, or thoughts of suicide. While stress may not affect everyone in the same way, it can contribute to a wide range of diseases, and it can affect nearly every part of the body. The following is supplementary information. How stress can affect your body. Nervous system. Adrenaline and cortisol to be released. These increase your heart rate, your blood pressure, and the glucose levels in your blood, all of which enable you to respond quickly to danger. Too much stress can lead to irritability, anxiety, depression, headaches, insomnia. Musculoskeletal system. Your muscles tense up to protect you from injury. Too much stress can lead to body aches and pains, tension headaches, muscle spasms. Respiratory Welcome system. Welcome to Plato. You breathe faster to take in more oxygen. Too much Plato stress can lead to hyperventilation and shortness of breath, as well as panic attacks in those who are prone to them. One nice Cardiovascular well. system. Your heart so, beats faster and harder to distribute blood throughout your body. Blood vessels dilate or constrict to direct blood where your body needs it the most, such as in your muscles. Too much stress can lead to high blood pressure, heart attack, stroke. Endocrine system. Your glands produce the hormones adrenaline and cortisol, which help the body react to stress. Your liver increases your blood sugar level to give you more energy. Too much stress can lead to diabetes, lower immunity and increased illness, mood swings, weight gain. Gastrointestinal system. The way your body processes food is disrupted. Too much stress can lead to nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, constipation. Reproductive system. Stress can affect sexual desire and function. Too much stress can lead to impotence, disrupted menstrual cycle. End of article. How to deal with stress. To deal effectively with stress, you need to think about your physical health, the way you interact with others, and your goals and priorities in life. That is, what you consider to be truly important. This article will review some practical principles yeah. that can help you to deal better with stress and perhaps even yeah, reduce yeah. it. Insights. Try to live one day at a time. Metal. Never be anxious about the next day, for the next day will have its own anxieties. Matthew 6.34 Meaning, daily anxieties are a part of life but do not increase not today's anxieties by adding tomorrow's to them. Try to live ways. one day at a time. Stress okay. can cause anxiety. So try this. First, recognize that some stress is inevitable. Fretting over things you cannot prevent increases your stress. Second, understand that quite often, things do not turn out the way we may fear they will. Set reasonable standards. The wisdom from above is reasonable. James 3.17 Meaning, do not be a perfectionist. Avoid setting unrealistically high standards for yourself or others. Be modest, set reasonable standards, and know both your limitations and those of others. When you do this, you will reduce stress all around and even encourage greater success. Also, Keep a sense of humor. When you laugh, even when something goes wrong, you relieve tension and brighten your mood. Know what stresses you. A discerning man will remain calm. Proverbs 17, 27. Meaning, negative emotions can cloud clear thinking. 
so try to stay calm. Identify what stresses you and note your response. For example, when you feel stressed, note your thoughts, feelings, and behavior, perhaps even making a record of them. By becoming more aware of your response to stress, you may be able to deal with it more effectively. Also, think of ways to eliminate stressful things from your life. If that is unrealistic, look for ways to reduce their impact, perhaps by managing your tasks or time more efficiently. Try to see things in a different light. What stresses you may not stress someone else. The difference may be in viewpoint. Consider these three suggestions. One, do not be quick to assume bad motives. A person may cut ahead of you in a line. If you attribute his act to rudeness, you may become upset. Instead, why not assume that his motive was good? You may be right. Two, see the positive side of a situation. A long wait at a doctor's office or an airport is easier to bear if you use the time to do some reading or to catch up on work or email. Three, keep the big picture in mind. Ask yourself, will this problem be a big issue tomorrow or next week? Distinguish between minor or short-term issues and more serious ones. Try to be orderly. Let all things take place decently and by arrangement. 1 Corinthians 14.40 Meaning, try to maintain order in your life. We like a reasonable amount of order in life. One thing that can contribute to disorder and stress is procrastination. And this may lead to a growing list of unfinished tasks. Why not try these two suggestions? One, make a practical schedule and stick to it. Two, identify and correct any attitudes that cause you to procrastinate. Pursue a balanced lifestyle. Better is a handful of rest than two handfuls of hard work and chasing after the wind. Ecclesiastes 4.6 Meaning, workaholics can deprive themselves of the benefits of their two handfuls of hard work. They may have no time or energy left to enjoy what they worked for. Have a realistic view of work and money. More money does not mean more happiness or less stress. In fact, the opposite can be true. The plenty belonging to the rich one does not permit him to sleep, says Ecclesiastes 5.12. So try to live within your means. Make time to relax. You relieve stress when you do things you enjoy. However, passive recreation, such as watching TV, may not help. Keep technology in its place. Avoid constantly checking email, texts, or social media sites. Unless circumstances require it, do not check work-related email outside of working hours. Take care of your health. Physical training is beneficial. 1 Timothy 4.8 Meaning, regular exercise promotes better health. Develop healthful habits. Physical activity can lift your mood and improve your body's response to stress. Eat nutritious food and try to avoid skipping meals. Be sure to get enough rest. Avoid harmful solutions to stress, such as smoking or drug and alcohol abuse. In the long run, these heighten stress, perhaps by robbing you of your health and hard-earned money. See your doctor if your stress becomes overwhelming. Getting professional help is not an admission of failure. The following is supplementary information. Kill your stress with kindness. A kind man benefits himself, but the cruel person brings trouble on himself. Proverbs 11, 17. Then that people have money the book, they Overcoming them. Stress, has a chapter entitled, Kill Your Stress with Kindness. Treating others stress. kindly, the, according the to the author, area, Dr. The Tim Canterfer, can promote health and everybody happiness. Knows everybody on knows the other so hand, an unkind or cruel person makes himself unhappy because he alienates himself from others. 
we may also get stress relief by treating ourselves kindly. For example, we should not make harsh or unrealistic demands on ourselves, nor should we belittle or malign ourselves. You must love your neighbor as yourself, Jesus Christ said. Mark 12, 31. Returning to the article. Set priorities. 